So hello and welcome to this kind of different video. Today we're kickstarting an experiment and some of you out there may be a little bit mad because I'm experimenting with live animals. What the experiment is that I've always heard that you can't keep two Lazius Niger Queens together because they will kill one another and it just seems like it's just something everybody knows. But where do we know it from? Because Lazius Flavus Queens can live together perfectly and other queens can also live together. So I decided with the nuptial flights being over here in Denmark that I would capture a lot of queens. So what this experiment is that is that I have I have two three queen colonies and two two queen colonies and two one queen lacious nitro colonies. So these are the colonies. As you see here, they are very calm right here, and this is because now in the clips here they have got some time to kind of rest. I will now kind of introduce all the colonies separately and and when I do that the colonies aren't very slowed down because that's right after I capture them. So here we have 3A, we have one queen sipping some water. One queen out discovering a little bit and already here the queens are not very happy with each other. You see the one queen saving water is out with her mandibles and the other queen decides to go over to the other side where we have one queen that's trying to escape. So this is right after I caught them so of course they're not that happy being caught and they're now in the light as well so I quickly just move on to the next colony which is 3B. So as you see here we have one queen trying to escape and if you just turn the test over a little bit around, we see that there's all three queens trying to escape right now. So 3B is at the moment a very escapey colony. The good thing is that they don't really seem to be bothered by each other. But we're through 2A. So this is the first two queen colony and this is something that Lacey Snyder do a lot in the wild. Two queens go down one chamber, live for a few months and then just one queen dies or something. And one of the queens here are actually kind of stuck but luckily she did get out a bit later and here we have 2b again two queens seemingly ready to move out of the test tube not much to say here either these queens are just active and want to go out and we have 1a and the reason we have a one queen colony is just to kind of have how it would work if you just have a normal queen as you should have she is also in a bit smaller chamber since she's one queen and Queens shouldn't really have a big chamber. And lastly we have 1B, again also just a control group. So the reason there is two different letters to each colony is that if one of the three queen colonies starts to attack each other and die, we won't know for sure that it's because there are three queens before the other colony also does that. So to kind of have a little control, I have two of each and I also have two extra one queen colonies just for good measure. So I hope you like this little experiment video. I hope you're not too mad about me experimenting with live animals. It's just that I've heard this with Lacious Niger Queens can't live together my whole life as an innkeeper. But then again I've also heard that Lacious Niger Queens will find each other and live together in the findings, founding stages. So I just thought, you know, I'm gonna see how long these queens will live together. It's a couple of days since the original recording and none of the queens, none of all the, I don't know, 12 queens have died yet. So. I'm just kind of experimenting and I'm curious to when they will kind of kill each other off or whatever they will do. Maybe they'll live together, I don't know. And yeah, that's been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!